Hello children. So let's continue chapter number four. That is subtraction. So today we will start with exercise four point three. So in exercise four point three, question number one is subtract and check your answer. So let's start with question number A. So let's start from ones column. So three minus one, what we'll get? Three minus one. Two. Now let's move to tens column. So six minus three. What we'll get, children? Six minus three. We'll get three here. Now let's move to hundreds column. So there seven minus five. We'll get two there. Now let's move to thousands column. So eight minus four. What we'll get, children? Eight minus four. Four. And now let's move to ten thousands column. So five minus two, what we'll get? Three. So the difference obtained here is thirty-four thousand two hundred thirty-two. So now you have to check as well. So there you can see fifty-eight thousand seven hundred sixty-three. What is that? That is minuend. Whereas twenty-four thousand five hundred thirty-one. That is our subtrahend. And after subtracting the result or answer that we got, it is called as difference. So children, to check what do we do? We add the difference and the subtrahend to get the minuend. If we uh, we are adding difference and subtrahend, and if we are getting the minuend, it means our our subtraction is correct. So let's see whether we have uh, done the subtraction here correctly or not. So there the difference obtained is thirty-four thousand. Let's write it here thirty-four thousand two hundred thirty-two. And there you can see this is our subtrahend that is been written here. So now let's add them. We are adding here the difference and the subtrahend. So let's add them. So let's start from ones. So two plus one, what we'll get? Three. Now let's move to tens column. So three plus three, six. Now let's move to hundreds place, hundreds column. So two plus five, seven. Now let's move to thousands column. So four plus four, eight, and now let's move to ten thousands column. So three plus two, five. So there you can see what did we get here? Fifty eight thousand seven hundred sixty three. Is that the minuend? Can you see that? Fifty eight thousand seven hundred sixty three. We got the minuend here after adding the difference and subtrahend. So what does it shows? It shows that our subtraction here, the difference that we get here, is correct. Okay. So now let's move to the next question. So question number C. Let's start start to solve this. So let's start from ones column. So one minus zero. One minus zero. What we'll get? One only. Now let's move to tens column. So three minus one, two. Now let's move to hundreds column. So seven minus three, what we'll get? Seven minus three, four. Now four minus four. Let's see the thousands column. There you can see four minus four. What we'll get? Zero. Now let's move to ten thousands column. So six minus two, what we'll get, children? Six minus two, four. And now let's move to lakhs column. So nine minus five, four. So this is minuend here. This is subtrahend, and this is difference. So you know how to check. What do we do to check? We add the difference and the subtrahend, or you may say subtrahend and difference. So let's write the difference here. What is the difference obtained here? Four lakh forty thousand. Four hundred twenty-one, and the subtrahend is five lakh twenty-four thousand three hundred ten. So now let's add them and see whether we get the minuend or not. So let's start from ones place, ones column. So one plus zero, what we'll get? One. Now let's move to tens uh, column. So two plus one, three. Now let's move to hundreds column. So four plus three, seven. Now let's move to thousands column. Zero plus four, four. Now let's see ten thousands column. 
so 4 plus 2 6 and now let's see the lakhs place lakhs column so 4 plus 5 9 so what did what did we get here after adding the subtrahend and difference we got here 9 lakh 64731 that is same you can see here 9 lakh 64731 we got the minuend here after adding the difference and subtrahend we got the minuend here it shows that the difference that we obtained here that is correct okay children understand okay now let's move to the next question so question number now let's continue question number two so question number two is find the following differences and check your answers so let's start from question number with question number b so 78036 minus 49157 so let's subtract them subtract the uh, to get the answer so let's start from once so 6 minus 7 so 6 minus 7 that is not possible children it means what we have to do we have to borrow we have to borrow from the tens place here so you can see the digit here is 3 so when we will borrow 1 from 3 what will be left here 2 will be left here and this digit 6 at the ones place will become 1 6 16 so now 16 minus 7 what we will get 16 minus 7 we will get 9 here now let's move to tens place so there you can see 2 minus 5 again that is not possible it means again we have to borrow so look at the hundreds place here but there also we have 0 only it means now we have to move to the next place to borrow so you can see at the thousands place there we have 8 so first we will borrow 1 from 8 so what will be left here 7 will be left here and this digit at the hundreds place which was 0 it will become 10 zero, 10 now now because at hundreds place we have 10 so now we can borrow 1 from that so when we'll borrow 1 from 10 what will be left here 9 will be left here and the digit at the tens place it will become 12 now 1 to 12 so let's see the tens column now so 12 minus 5 what we'll get 12 minus 5 7 now let's see the hundreds column so 9 minus 1 what we'll get 9 minus 1 8 now let's move to thousands place thousands column so there you can see 7 minus 9 that is again not possible it means we have to borrow from the next place so there we have digit 7 so when we'll borrow 1 from 7 6 will be left here and the digit at the thousands place it becomes 17 so now 17 minus 9 what we'll get children 17 minus 9 8 now look at the ten thousands column so 6 minus 4 what we will get 2 so the difference obtained here is 28,879 and you already know how do we check we add the this is minuend this is subtrahend and this is difference so what do we do to check we add the difference and the subtrahend so what is the difference obtained here that we will write here that is 28,000 879 and subtrahend is 49157 so now let's add them so let's start from ones place so 9 plus 7 16 so 6 we will write here 1 will be carried over now let's add the tens so 7 plus 1 8 8 and 5 13 so 3 we will write here and 1 will be carried over to the next place now let's add hundreds so 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 1 10 so 0 we will write here and 1 will be carried over to the thousands place now let's add the thousands so 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 9 18 
so eight we will write here and one will be carried over to the ten thousands place now let's add ten thousands so two plus one three three plus four seven so what sum we got here it is seventy eight thousand thirty six that you can see here that was the same as minuend isn't it the sum that we get here is equal to the minuend when we added the difference and the subtrahend we got the minuend what does it shows it shows that our subtraction the difference that we get here is correct okay now let's move to the next question so question number e is 6 lakh 2071 minus 3 lakh 41598 so let's start subtracting so let's start from ones place so there you can see 1 minus 8 so 1 minus 8 is not possible children so we have to borrow from tens place so when we'll borrow one from seven what will be left here six and the digit at the ones place which is one it becomes one one eleven so now let's see the ones column so eleven minus eight what we'll get eleven minus eight three now look at the tens column so six minus nine again that is not possible it means we have to borrow from hundreds place but there also you can see the digit is zero it means now we have to move to the next place to borrow so that is the digit here at the thousands place is two so when we will borrow one from there one will be left here and the digit at the hundreds place becomes 1010 so now we can borrow from hundreds place so when we will borrow what will be left here nine and this digit at the tens place becomes 1 6 16 so now let's see the tens column so 16 minus 9 what we will get 7 here now let's see the hundreds column so 9 minus 5 9 minus 5 what we will get 4 now let's see the thousands column so there you can see 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 what we will get 0 only now let's see the Ten thousands column. So zero minus four. That is not possible. It means we have to borrow. So when we'll borrow one from lakhs place, the digit here will become five, and we'll get ten at ten thousands place. So now we can subtract. So five minus four. Sorry, ten minus four. What we'll get six here. And now just see the lakhs column. So five minus three, two. So what is the difference obtained here? Two lakh sixty thousand four hundred seventy three. Okay, so now because this is the difference, and we will when we will add subtrahend to it, then let's see what happens. So what is the difference obtained here? Two lakh sixty thousand four hundred seventy three. So now let's add the difference and the subtrahend. So three plus eight or eight plus three, what we'll get? Eleven. So one we will write here, and one will be carried over to the tens place. So seven plus one, eight. Eight plus nine, seventeen. So seventeen, seven we will write here, and one will be carried over to the hundreds place. So four plus one, five. Five plus five, ten. So zero we will write here, and one will be carried over to the next place. Now let's add the thousands. So one plus zero, one. One plus one, two. Now let's see the ten thousands place. So six plus four, what we'll get, children? Ten. So zero we will write here, and one will be carried over to the lakhs place. So two plus one, three, and three plus three, six. So what did we get here? Did we get the minuend here? Six lakh. Two thousand seventy-one, and there also we get the six lakh two thousand seventy-one. Seventy-one. So what does it shows? It shows that our subtraction here is the difference that we get here is correct. Okay. Now, 
सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे चिल्ड्रेन रेस्ट वी विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास टिल देन थैंक यू